All right, so let's get down to the winter anime season preview. Now, those of you who've seen this before, as I mentioned uh, on YouTube, I wasn't able to schedule everyone together, and I was trying to get all that worked out. So unfortunately, the other guys aren't with me this time. Uh, just one of those things where it gets kind of crazy at this time of year. So it'll be just me this time, and we're going to go through the anime that is scheduled for the coming season, one by one. And uh, let's just get right to it, shall we? So... Starting with Kyo Sogiga, and the uh, description is wonderful English. Uh, in a world where boundary between human and yokai worlds is no longer distinguishable, three different groups pursue for power. What is count of reality and destruction of negentropy? I'm sorry, negentropy? Koto, a high school girl, always gotta have a high school girl, who got out of more of, uh, I'm sorry, got out of maze of Java work, chases the shadow of the black rabbit. This is a story surrounding various people chasing the Black Rabbit in Kyoto, where time has stopped. So it looks like sort of an odd um, sort of uh, science fiction-y series done by Toy Animation, the uh, folks who do a lot of the Shonen series out there, um, directed by Matsumoto Rie, which should be, should be interesting, music by Ko Otani, who did music for Gundam Wing and others, and he, he can do more some kind of big bombastic stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they got Rie Kugumiya doing some voice acting in there. Um, as well as uh, Aya Hisakawa and some others. So it looks like a pretty high-profile series, and um, that should drop in December. In January, we'll get Recorder to Rondo Seru, and you'll see the cute lowly girl in there, along with the older guy, and to, um, I, I guess, no one's surprised at this point, uh, the cute girl is actually a high schooler, and the guy is actually 11, an 11-year-old boy. So, yeah, it's one of those, you know, ha, 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 they don't, they're not actually the ages they, they appear to be. Um, and so it's a, apparently a comedy about that. So, typical sort of, I'm a lowly, but I'm not, and I'm an adult, but I'm not. Okay. Um, but, hey, whatever. So that'll come in January, and uh, not much information about this. Based on a four-coma manga, so basically a comic strip. So it should be a, uh, a fun, fun little thing. Poyo Poyo Kansatsu Niki, Slice of Life manga, sending around a mysterious spherical cat named Poyo. But every season we get one of these. It's basically a, a, a series about uh, some little, um, uh, you know, a cat or a, you know, a small pet or a hamster or something. It's just a, a goofy little slice of life thing. It looks like that's what uh, Poyo Poyo will be. That's coming in uh, January as well. Then uh, Daily Lives of High School Boys, which is sort of a, uh, just a, you know, high school kind of slice of life-ish thing. Uh, based on a web gag comedy manga, it follows the uh, humorous yet "quote unquote" realistic everyday life of some high school some, uh, um, high school boys. In other words, boys who actually go to a boys high school, so all boys high school, and uh, looks like a, a, a pretty straightforward sort of um, art style there, but no complaints there. Uh, also coming uh, in January, a new Prince of Tennis series, which is uh, a completely new story with the Prince of Tennis characters. Uh, the, um, the main characters are among only 50 middle school students to be invited to the Japanese high school representatives selection camp where only the top potentials in the Japanese tennis world train. So another training series about tennis characters. So more big Prince of Tennis fun. It's always a, uh, it's a, one of those franchises that just keeps on keeping on out there. Uh, Natsume Yujincho Shi, the fourth season of Natsume Yujincho, which uh, surprises me, but it's, it's awesome. A young man who can see ghosts and uh, but is is sort of shunned by humans, and um, then he gets this book from his from his uh, grandparents, which uh, or his grandmother specifically, let, let him uh, actually um, uh, take care of all the contracts that are keeping yokai on Earth and kind of resolving the problems these yokai has. It kind of takes on that mantle. So um, that's 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 pretty cool. So we'll see more of that in January. Also in Jan January, Amagami SSS. I'm sorry, Amagami SS Plus, the second season of Amagami SS. Um, uh, 12 episodes, so each of the six girls will be featured in two episodes at a time, on this format. Um, and the direct sequel to the first season will be animated. So, uh, more stories with all of your favorite characters from Amagami SS. Uh, more cute high school girls. Um, so, hey, nothing wrong with that. Then, of course, one of the big ones, Black Rock Shooter, the TV series, done by Studio Ordet and Sons again. Um, this is the TV series adaptation of Black Rock Shooter, and, uh, Looks like it'll be following the same kind of thing we saw in the uh, in the OVA series, where we had the the both sort of slice of life, normal life of these girls, along with the uh, kind of over the top battle sequences. And so interesting to see how they'll make that work over the course of a full 
um, you know, TV series. A lot, lot more space to work with, so we shall see. Moving on to, uh, yeah, something that kind of surprised me, Tante Opera Milky Homes 2, the sequel series to Tante Opera Milky Homes 1. Um, so more lolis running around um, as detectives, kind of weird. Um, so there's a magical girl detective thing, lots of cute little girls. So we get more of that, um, unfortunately. Moving on, more Zero No Tsukaima, Zero No Tsukaima F, the final uh, and fourth Zero No Tsukaima TV series. Hugely popular series in Japan. This is one of those things where, you know, when I get these Japanese uh, magazines, they always have Tsukaima art in them. It's just, it's just really big and it never did very well over here. So they get a fourth season of Zero No Tsukaima. Um, and maybe at some point this will actually, you know, come over here and, and, and do well. What else have we got? We've got Moretsu Pirates. So this looks like sort of a goofy comedy, um, uh, futuristic, based on a series of light novels. Um, Moriko is a normal high school girl living in the future, and uh, one day some folks basically tell her that her uh, um, her late father was the captain of a, high sh of, a, of a pirate ship, that now she has to pirate herself. So she basically runs around becoming a space pirate with other, you know, girls and characters. So sort of moe, um, uh, you know, pirate. So, hey, I'm assuming this is probably having something to do with the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, but who knows. Uh, directed by Tatsuo Sato, who is a pretty big name. I mean, he did, uh, es uh, not Escaflone, <laughs> um, he did Martian Fetch and Desico, uh, which is really big in his day. Uh, he also wrote, uh, will, will be writing more at two pirates. So that says a lot about the quality of the series. So that should be one to, to look out for. And hey, cute girl pirates. Can't, can't go wrong with, can't go wrong there, can you? Um, Inu ex Boku SS. So, uh, yeah, this is sort of a weird run. It's clearly a sort of a shonen series with, with Moe girls as well. Uh, the description that they, they say here is a manga adaptation. Uh, the Shirakin house's daughter, Shirakin uh, Ryuchio, uh, has a complex about being unable to live independently and unprotected. So she moves out to live on her own. Um, but she, the condition is that she, she lives in a mansion called Ayakashi Khan. And in this mansion, um, only those who have cleared a very strict examination can, can reside in it. And for each resident, they're accompanied by one agent of the Secret Service. Um, although she's, she's rejected this, um, uh, res while residing in the mansion, she finds out that the agent dedicated to protecting her is actually a fox spirit whom she previously rescued at some previous point. So, of course, she has to be protected by him. So, looks like this one's aimed more towards the ladies. And then, eh, no complaints there. Moving on, Senhime Zesho Sinful Gear, uh, an original anime series. Humans have been menaced by mysterious monsters called Designated Aberrant Disaster Noise. Love that. And uh, two characters, Tsubasa and Kanade, look like girls, are popular vocal units who wear a new weapon called Simpho Gear and fight against noise to save the Earth. So it looks like they're basically magical girls. They transform into, uh, you know, these, uh, these characters to fight off the aliens while they sing. So kind of combining the pop idol phenomenon with, uh, uh, with magical girls with aliens. So, hey, can't go wrong with that. And original anime, that's a good thing. What else? Uh, Rene no language. Uh, sorry, Rene no Lagrange. Now this is interesting because it's a completely original work. All we know about it is it's about a 17-year-old girl who leaves her hometown and likes to help people in trouble. She rides a robot called Vox in her jersey wear and fights against aliens. Um, so more original anime science fiction stuff. So that's cool. Uh, one thing folks have been complaining about recently in anime has been the the lack of science fiction stuff. So maybe we're we're moving towards it, you know, more science fiction uh, uh, works in anime. That'd be nice. Directed by Suzuki Toshimasa, written by uh, Suga Shotaro, I'm not familiar with. And it's uh, Zebek and Production IG. So that'll be good. What else? Uh, brave 10, so fantasy series. Uh, Reimagining uh, the story of the 10 brave warriors assembled by Sanada Yukimura in 1600, in the middle of the Sengoku era. Uh, so basically, uh, if you've seen Sengoku Basara, uh, same age, and uh, basically a recount of that. Looks like it's a slightly more realistic, um, although that's a really big sword. Uh, Papa no Io Koto o Kikinasai, the slapstick at home romantic comedy, as they call it, about um, actually uh, a college freshman who suddenly discovers he must be the father of three girls um, who are all uh, about, uh, let's see here, um, basically older girls and then a kindergartner. And um, so basically he has to take care of all of them all at once. Uh, I don't know why the whole thing about why he, he's suddenly their father. Obviously he's too old for the one. Who, who knows how it, how it all goes. Um, so, uh, oh, I, I see. 
Uh, basically, and these are his older sister's children, and um, she's gone missing. So right now he has to take care of his uh, his uh, his sister's children. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Looks very moe. Looks looks cute. Um, hey, no no complaints uh, there. Being done by Seal, which I'm not familiar with uh, that studio. Uh, based on a light no series of light novels directed by Kawasaki Itsuro. Uh, let's see here, moving on to Nisi Monogatari, the sequel to Baka Monogatari, very hotly anticipated series here, uh, where we've got, let's see here, um, uh, a, a, a swindler uh, who once deceived uh, this uh, character and uh, returns to that town, and there's cursing going on, and sisters, and uh, as usual, a very complicated plot from Shinbo Akiyuki. Uh, Rakiki Shinbo, done by Shaft, as always. So, more Bakamono Gatari craziness in a new series coming in January. Another by PA Works, and uh, so let's uh, go to the plot here, coming in January. 26 years ago, in a third-year classroom of a middle school, there was a student named Misaki. As an honor student, who was also good at sports, the charming girl was popular with her classmates, isn't she always? When she suddenly died, her classmates decided to carry on as if she was still alive until graduation. Then in the spring of 1998, uh, a boy transfers to that classroom and grows suspicious of the atmosphere. In particular, there's a beautiful, aloof girl named Mei Misaki who wears an eye patch and is always alone drawing pictures. So it's like sort of a mysterious series about uh, mysteries. So who knows? Uh, directed by Mizushima Tutomu, uh, Tutomu Mizushima, and uh, written by Ryo Higaki, done by PA Works. So it's interesting. Kill Me Baby, slapstick comedy, uh, done by J.C. Staff, sort of the... Um, uh, Nichi Joe, or Lucky Star, looks like of the season. Uh, comedic life of a typical schoolgirl and her assassin classmate. Um, and they never are able to fit in because their natural assassin instincts kick in. Um, so it's sort of a goofy series. Sounds a bit, of, a bit like Full Metal Panic, actually, in a lot of ways. Um, uh, directed by Yoshiki Yamakawa. And, uh, again, directed, uh, or, uh, produced by J.C. Staff. High School DXD. A uh, story following a dim-witted, lecherous second-year high school student who is killed by a girl on his first date ever. Boy, isn't that the story of my life. Um, he's then reincarnated as a devil, and from that day forward, he, he serves as an underling of Ryasu, a high-level devil, who also happens to be the prettiest girl at his school. So there is kind of no surprise there. Reminds me a little bit of uh, uh, Koriwa Zombie Deska from a couple of seasons ago. So it looks like they're, they're going on there. Certainly uh, lovely art, so that's, that's good to see. Um... A uh, fair amount of shoujo um, in there, you're right, but also a lot of mo. I mean, it's a, a pretty uh, uh, normal season, I'd say. Uh, and like I said, it's more sci-fi than usual. Uh, Goku Jo, a silly, quote, slightly risque comedy, end quote, and based on the fact there's a panty flash in the actual, like, official artwork says something about that. Um, set in the, school of a high, uh, the halls of a high school girls dormitory, where there are no rules and anything goes. A beautiful girl transfers to this school from Los Angeles and plans to rule with her cuteness as her weapon. However, a girl named Aya Akabane confounds these plans on her first day there and then deals with unpredictable life on the campus. So it looks like a lot of, you know, penny flashes and, and such things and underwear and, and cute girls. And we all know what demographic this is going after. Hey, no complaints. Based on a manga. Then, Anonatsu de Matero, uh, a new original anime project by... Uh, the creator of, of uh, Onagai Teacher, Onagai Twins, Yosuke Kuroda, he also d did something you might have heard of called Read or Die, uh, which was oh, an amazing thing, and Kamichu. Um, so uh, uh, then the character designer, uh, Taraku Uon, is also working on this. So Ano Natsu is uh, about, an it's an adolescent romantic comedy, so kind of like Onagai Teacher. The three main characters are two girls and a boy. So we'll see where that goes. Maybe it's just another Onagai Teacher, Onagai Twins which uh, there's some impressive stuff in there that's coming in January. Uh, moving on to some of the interesting stuff coming in um, uh, movie and OVA-wise, we have the K-On! film, which uh, I believe was released actually yesterday in Japan, December 3rd. So um, K-On! film, the girls go to uh, New York. I don't think that, that's a big surprise. London. I'm sorry. Eh, New York. London. Go to London. Uh, Friends, a CGI film. Uh, Mononoke Shime Nonaki. Uh, so it's a pretty typical CGI film. Um, Inazuma 11 Go, so a movie of the soccer anime Inazuma 11. And then, of course, the Roni Kenshin OVA, Shin Kyoto Hen, remaking the uh, Shishio arc from Roni Kenshin using a style kind of halfway between the TV series and the, uh, and, and the OVA uh, style, which were uh, two very different ways of doing it. So they're kind of going halfway between the two of those, which is awesome. And then uh, uh, a movie called The Moon, Tsukigahoshi 
to Jocelyn Nganaita. So, um, this is a very quiet, quiet movie. Don't Hack the Movie, which, uh, sort of a, a, which is actually a CGI thing, which is quite interesting. Um, and a Berserk Golden Age Arc 1, of course, part of the remake of the Berserk, uh, the, 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 the Berserk story. They're going back to the, the manga and doing, uh, uh, you know, more Berserk stuff. There's another one that we thought would never come back, and it has come back. So, that's the anime coming out in this, this season. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Um... So that's, that's, that's about it in terms of what is planned. Uh, obviously, more information will come out, I am sure. Uh, there's lots of other little OVA things. There's a bit more uh, Usagi Drop, um, R15, Maken Ki, Higurashi no Naku, uh, Koro Nikira, some more Queen's Blade, uh, Special Stein's Gate, Hidan no Arian, uh, sorry, Hidan no Aria, some more Toradora, Scryad. Yeah, the Scryad Redux, that's weird. Um, and uh, just other bits and pieces. Another Lupin the Third. Uh, TV movie, so um, as usual, more stuff coming out in bits and pieces. But those are the main TV series, so that's that's the cool stuff coming out. So pretty cool. So let me just uh, 